Hello guys, welcome to my class. So let us quickly see the nomenclature of this very particular sort. We want to give this sort an IUPAC name. There are rules that should be obeyed in order to name this compound. And one thing we should have at the back of our mind is this compound is a neutral compound. Because of that reason, the sum of oxidation number of all the elements in this compound will be equal to zero. This is the first rule. And the second rule is for you to determine the oxidation number of the central element. Do not forget. We will always calculate or find the oxidation number of the central element, except otherwise. The element here is carbon. But let us consider this particular molecule of, of water attached to this very particular compound. Let us do little thing. When you are given this kind of compound and you have molecules of water, or a hydrated compound. A hydrated compound is a compound that contains molecules of water. Or these molecules of water will always give us zero. For example, 10 is multiplying this. Oxidation number of hydrogen is plus one. Plus one times the radicals, we are having plus two or two. Oxidation number of oxygen is minus two. So now, if we open the bracket, look at what we have. Two minus two will give us zero. And 10 times 0 will give us 0. So that is to say that everything about this hydrated or these molecules of water is giving us 0. Okay? So you see, you have handled everything about here. So that this will not be a problem to you. So if such is the case, it is now easy to determine the oxidation number of carbon. So here, we have potassium has oxidation number of plus 1. So we have 2 times its oxidation number plus, we don't know that of carbon, but we know that of oxygen, which is minus 2 multiplied by you know, three, the radicals of oxygen or the number of atoms of oxygen, which is minus two times three, we give us equal to zero because, of course, here is zero. We don't need it. So now we have two zero. So which means that making our carbon the subject of the formula, we are going to, okay, so this will give us plus four. Okay. The IU part name of this compound, you are going to start from the first element, which is potassium. Oxo, carbon becomes carbonate, carbonate. Four is the oxidation number of this carbon. So we are going to put it in parentheses, but in Roman numerals. So, don't forget these molecules of water. We have 10 molecules of water, and we know that 10 means deca, deca hydrates. Potassium trioso carbon four deca hydrate salt. This is a salt, a hydrated salt. So, this is the IUPAC name of this compound. See you.